All right, hello everybody. Welcome to another audio commentary done by SBK, and this is gonna be, I think, game two. I'm gonna make this game two of my uh, first year anniversary video series, and this is gonna be between Mac and uh, the Sushi Licious. Sushi Licious. Okay. Um, this is gonna be. I think this has to be a Battle.net game because uh, no observers, first of all, and I think I see a little lag here. Um, I saw. I think I saw that peon went to the building that burrow a little late. And uh, I'm not going to fast forward until game, uh, the hero, hero comes out because uh, <laughs> someone left a uh, pretty strong worded <laughs> comment on my channel telling me not to do that anymore. And I, and I think it's a pretty um, good suggestion for me to not sp speed up the videos and uh, to talk about the build orders and the strategies, overall strategies. Uh, of course, I have to tell you the pros, the pros practice differently from the amateurs like these guys. And um, um, and um, what I can say is uh, undead um, undead resort and undead uh, ten, nine out of nine or eight out of ten undead is going to do the fiend build uh, a crypt and the graveyard and then uh, and then uh, a, a ziggurat and then altar just to get the fiend out a little quicker. Um, did, I, did I say that right? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what I said. And to just to get some uh, fiend out to. Get some map control against the against the uh, orc in the early game, so they can creep whatever they want. Uh, this is a pretty good base block here. I, I think this gap has to be dealt with unless uh, no ghouls cannot work on this tree anymore. He's gonna throw down another ziggurat here unless no, he is going to chop down this tree. Um, okay, th I'm pretty sure this gap, this gap is not blocked, so the blade master is going to walk straight in, and of course he can block this gap by throwing a ghoul or a skeleton here. To when the play master is in your in your base, so play master has to one walk out instead of just walk out of there. Play master is out. Of course, you have to go play master versus the, uh, versus the undead unless you have that. <laughs> I've seen I've seen this build order where orc went for a frost year and uh, just harass the crap out of undead. Oh, and Lin has gone to, um, shadow hunter versus undead before. Um, just to do some hexing against the acolytes and um, slow down undead economy is pretty effective. Um, DK is going to be had to go the long way around. <laughs> you needed to have the like I said in the undead base blocking videos. You have to rally your if your altar is like that. You have to rally your altar somewhere here, just so the hero is going to come out of this building exit. Um, Blade Master grabbed up some kind of ability and a tome of something, tome of strength, agility. It looks like out straight uh, right off the bat from the shop, and he, he's going to go back and heal. Uh, meanwhile, I think he's skipping grounds here. He just skipped the ground to get an early shop and perhaps an early tier two. Wow, uh, nicely done by. But oh, looks like oh yeah, he skipped the ground. Uh, and the first ground is chilling right next to where Undead is creeping, uh, just to be just to be, just know that uh, maybe try make Undead dust because if you see a ground, uh, like most likely there's a Blade Master around. And the uh, ground is gonna try to back away and didn't take any damage. And Blade Master is going to do the thing he does <laughs> to the orange camp with the creeping with one grunt. Or oh, his orc is only here. Uh, is the only uh, race can do that without any ancient war support. Uh, Undead is gonna lose the ghoul. Oh no, he's gonna get healed by Coil. <laughs> and the Blade Master is going to perhaps hit level two. Yeah, Blade Master isn't gonna get level two after this camp. Undead is kind of oh, okay. Undead is going to try to surround this ground here. Uh, I think he's going to get it because the undead has a, the unholy aura that is going to that is going to uh, speed up all the speed up all the units. Blade Master does hit level two, and let's see if he go start going after the DK. And the level two DK is going to back away, and let's see if he's going to start creeping here. I think he left his creep alone because he's done a lot of dust. Use that last last dust of his. Uh, check tech. Both players going to tech in tier two. Orc is a little faster than undead, and undead doesn't have a third ziggurat yet. There is a graveyard, and uh, so undead is going to be stuck be, uh, at the thirty food uh, for a long time. And blame master is going to start working on a ghoul, and ghoul is going to get healed. Uh, yeah, there we go. Undead trying to retreat. Blame master is going to try to do a surround. I think orc try to do a surround or not? Yeah, yep, yeah, do a surround on the on, on the one of the ghouls, and the ghouls can be coiled again. I think I think the undead is gonna oh uh, nope is gonna get killed by the blade master. Blade master has the cruise of speed, circling ability, and I think it sold the item whatever he got out of the orange camp. I don't know why. Oh, here's another coil. Okay, he the DK didn't have a coil for the previous uh, ghoul. 
on the Blade Master is going to start working on this DK. DK is going to chase down the ground. Now let's see who's going to be faster. Blade Master is faster than DK right now. And uh, let's see what Blade Master is going to do some blocking against that DK. DK is going to back up. Yeah, DK is going to have to go the long way around to get that ground kill. I uh, just need to hit the ground one more time to uh, to cancel that hitting hitting sale. Tier two is out. And let's see if we're gonna see a Torn Chieftain or Shadow Hunter out of the altar. He's not micro his altar right now. Uh, he's busy blocking. <laughs> okay, now he can out micro out micro and out micro. Now he can micro his ground altar and get a Shadow Hunter. Beast Fury to be two Beast Fury. So we're gonna see a um, Wind Rider build versus Undead. That's a lot of freaking ghouls. <laughs> Holy God. Someone tell the undead that he's playing Reign of Chaos. Uh, I'm sorry, not Reign of Chaos. Um, for the Frozen Throne instead of Reign of Chaos. <laughs> That's way too many ghouls. Uh, <clears throat> looks like undead is thinking about expanding on the Wanacock, and the Blade Master is going to creep with the ground uh, with the grounds. And it looks like he's going to get this overseer. Um, Reign production plus two again. I think he the previous drop was also Reign production plus two. And uh, I th that's why he sold it. Blade Master is going to one walk. Uh, I don't know where is he going. Maybe he's map hacking. Where is he going? Oh no, he's not. I think he's. Yeah, he's going to get this down. I was going to say, is this a map hacker? I would have. Oh, I would never feature that kind of map hacking in my first anniversary videos. And looks like Shadow Hunter is out. She's he she see, he's going to get a it's just a standard items on the Shadow Hunter. Of course, you could pick up another curry potion, but whatever. And DK is going to run straight into this uh, orc creeping. Let's see if he's going to do some creep jacking. Level three DK now, so he's going to creep. He can creep jack with uh, two hundred HP on a on a uh, on a creep. I don't think this is going to work. Hexing the blame. Oh no, a coil on blame master. Blame master has to back away now. And where are the ghouls? Ghouls are going to go straight back to lumber. Tier three is going to be a fast tier three. Looks like I'm escaping the thing to totally. It's a pretty surprising build order. And Lich is going to be out, I think that was after the tier tier 3 upgrade. Or at the same time at least. Um, so, <laughs> so Undead is going to do a fast tier 3, maybe a timing tier 3 push with the destroyers when the orc has uh, has uh, sh uh, spirit walkers. And the orc, orc isn't getting spirit walkers, he's getting uh, uh, what do you call wind riders. And um, the only thing to counter wind riders effectively is, uh, is fiends. And um, of course you can get uh, gargoyles, but I don't think, okay, I don't think that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be uh, super effective against a uh, uh, ranged brain riders. But it, it could be effective if you have uh, oh nice coil on the shadow hunter. Shadow hunter needs to back away. Uh, another coil, shadow hunter can be done here. There's another coil. There goes the shadow hunter. Nice, maybe a map, perhaps a pr potential map hack. No, those are there was a. <laughs> There's a shade here. Lich gets surrounded, and the DK needs to do get that grunt, and perhaps do some revenge against the display master. Uh, he has no coil left, so that's kind of unfortunate. So a shot level two shadow hunter trade a level one Lich. That's always a good trade for the undead. Of course, undead is going to get a level uh, tier uh, tier three, and he's going to perhaps get a destroyer or maybe uh, I don't know abominations. Abominations not good versus that orc because orc could just get some Makoto beasts and devour on them all. And just, not a not a good thing. Of course, uh, uh, there are wind riders out in the field. So, <coughs> excuse me. There are wind riders out in the field. So, you, abomination could be completely useless. Completely useless versus the wind riders. That's a lot of freaking ghouls, and uh, the undead is going to be completely hosed after running to a bunch of uh, wind riders. That's going to be completely funny. <laughs> Orb on the lich, and don't think undead has any money left. And what's what's the point of this thing? And uh, oh, the the. Oh god, the Blade Master is going to be scouted by the by the shade, and Blade Master is going to start working on a uh, working on a statue. That's not going to work though. Um, Looks like Undead is going to creep that Merc camp. Blade Master is going to hop into the Undead base and maybe do some. Uh, uh, no, the Undead base is blocked. Nicely done by the Undead. I thought this was uh, this was uh, not and this was not sealed. It's an, oh uh, yeah, of course. What can I forget? Oh man, Boneyard for Undead uh, fast. Uh, Frostworm for un for the undead. Oh my god! And the wind rider is gonna completely counter that. Oh, oh god! This is gonna be a bad. This is gonna be really really bad. And uh, oh, what is the undead doing? He needs to repair the boneyard here. Oh, he's gonna cancel the boneyard. Oh my god! And the blade master successfully canceled the boneyard with a claw attack and uh, orb lightning. And looks like. Uh, 
orchid's thinking about expanding or even just creep his natural in case he's expanding. Um, maybe he, he gets too far ahead and doesn't want to fight undead in his base, he can just expand right there. And um, Blade Master is going to go after that lone creep and he's going to get a really nice item out of it. And at the same time, Orc is going to get a level 3 Shadow Hunter, I believe. No, still level 2 Shadow Hunter. I think uh, he's going to get level 3 Asobi Mask. Asobi Mask for the Shadow Hunter. So we're going to see uh, maybe Orc is going to change his strategy a little bit. Maybe start creeping here. Uh, not creeping, pushing. After getting a sh Sobi mask, well, the statue is gonna get oh, gonna get uh, no, okay, it's gonna get spared. Second boneyard being planted.